I am called monkey, <laughs> m-word, slave, cotton picker, almost daily. I even stopped reporting because nothing is done. Outrage and frustration from the mouths of both students and adults at a Powhatan school board meeting tonight. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. It became heated as dozens finally got the chance to say their piece tonight about the alleged racism in Powhatan schools. This comes after a meeting last week to discuss all of this ended abruptly. And we had our reporter Cheyenne Pagan at that meeting earlier today with learning what the community had to say about this, what school leaders are promising. And we did see that dozens of people spoke during this very emotional, as you just saw, and charged public comment period tonight with many addressing that alleged issue of racism in the school district. But you're not a housing resident, correct? We're here by we're their request. And right now you don't have the floor because we're not giving you permission to speak. I don't need your permission to speak. That's your problem. No, I don't. I'm speaking and you haven't permitted me. His parents are here. I'm going to ask you one more time to take your seat. And I'm telling you my reason for standing here. You don't own anything. This is public. That's your problem. White supremacy make you think you're the owner. You don't own anything. Emotions flared as speakers got escorted out of the packed auditorium of Powhatan High School. Groups of people going back and forth with the Powhatan County School Board. This all stemming from this viral photo of a Powhatan High School student with a racial slur written on her arm. Hundreds came out after the last meeting was called off due to overcrowding. Now teachers, parents, and students got to share their experiences during the meeting. My very first day of school, a boy asked me who I am and why am I here. Then later on, he told me, we don't want you here. Every single day, racial slurs are made. I've been called the N-word, monkey, slave. I've reported this every day, and nothing's changed. Just today, I have had to send out no less than three students from my own classroom because they think the N-word is funny and I am over it. Speaker after speaker calling for change on the heels of these incidents of alleged racism in the schools. At a minimum, the district's policy should cover harassment based on race, color, national origin, sex, and disability because these types of harassment are forbidden by federal laws prohibiting discrimination by school districts receiving federal financial assistance. School leadership responding saying they're going to work to make changes. We need to set up a workshop to discuss what we, what next steps we need to do as far as policy and procedure. We are committed to doing this work. We're committing to working with the board to make changes. We're committed to working with our families. And most importantly, we're committed and look forward to, the, to work with our students. And that was Cheyenne Pagan reporting. We've heard that the students involved have been disciplined, but school officials have not confirmed that nor have they confirmed what that punishment may have been. A story we will continue to follow, obviously.